Hello there, this is Will from Walks with Will and Travel with Will and today I'm in the skate park in Geneva. So I've met some local people, we're going to have a little chat with those. But one bit of advice I'd give you about skate parks in general, I'm no expert as I don't do it, I'd break my leg, which would be a great YouTube video of course. Um, and actually I need to make sure I don't fall down here as well. But I would ask before you film because people can be a bit uh, funny at the skate parks or not really funny but they like to know what you're doing basically so they very kindly offered to give us some information about the area so we're in Plan Parlay and there's a big square here and hello guys so, uh, so we're filming now so I asked your permission and now they're very kindly going to speak to us so I've just explained we're in Plan Parlay so the skate park's at the end of Plan Parlay and it's one of the biggest in Europe. Yes. Yeah. And do, do you think it's fun to skate or do you want more stuff here? No, we are really lucky to have this big skate park. Yeah. It's a really nice place in the middle of the city. So yeah. I mean, they are extremely lucky. I mean, it's one of the biggest I've seen. And it's much bigger than the one in Budapest, by the way. Um, but yes, so could you explain to us about why there's a big red square here? Yes. In the, yeah. It's used for uh, market mm -hmm. uh, on some days uh, and also for circus, uh, for like uh, games for the children sometimes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so uh, uh, all time this uh, this land uh, yeah. was only vegetables. Right. Uh, it's uh, cardon. It's uh, vegetables from Geneva. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, the the people give the, this place and said that uh, we we they don't want us to um, to build on it. So they built the skate park. They should have, but uh, so it was good. left to the to the council, and the rules were that they are not allowed to build apartments or build, and it's for the people to enjoy themselves. Yes, but that's the really really old thing. Uh, okay. They said when they give. I think it has changed, but uh, that's why uh, they built the skate park. And I have one fact for you. Did you know that they used to execute people here in the 1800s? Like it was like a, a where the prisoners used to come or something like that? No. No. I that's didn't an know old. That I saw that. Sad. Yeah. I know that uh, some. Uh, oh, you said that uh, some people manifesting, you know? Oh, right. Were uh, killed there by the police. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. So, yes. Um, How long ago was that? I don't know exactly. Maybe uh, 20, no, like 50 years. I don't know exactly. Wow. You see, we're learning stuff from the locals. Yes. So you, you can uh, find that, but I think it's going to be in, uh, in uh, French uh, on uh, Libre Radio. It's, uh, okay. it's uh, uh, media. Yeah. Uh, of Geneva. Okay. On the internet. Okay, I'll it's really interesting. Everyone should have a look and, and just before I finish talking yes, with you. Libre radio. Libre should go. Right, thanks. So you check that out. He's it's a local a, as well. Anarchist so. uh, radio. Okay. Yeah. It's really, it's a, and, and what's it's historical things and so. what's your favorite part of Geneva? What where should they go if they're coming to visit? Where do you think? Yeah. Where the, where the two rivers meet, the Zhongshan. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, two rivers yeah. The, the Lav and the, the Rhone. Yeah. When you have that, this one, you have a, a, a pub just at the end of the road. Yeah. And you can yeah. swim in uh, and play a lot of sports, a lot of kind of sports. Okay, cool. So we'll check that out. He said the um, Zhongshan, where the two rivers meet. And where, where do you think is the, the best place to hang out in Geneva? Uh, there is a lot. Uh, this place is good. You can go to the Rhone, as he, as he said. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people. Uh, Ecole de Médecine, the streets there, you have a lot of bars. Yeah. You can go to... Uh, uh, what is the... This, uh, Les Grottes. Is, uh, ah, I've seen uh, that one, yeah. Yes, it's... Uh, yeah. You have the... 
train yeah. station, yes, and it's just up of the train station. Okay. Yeah, it was only squats before. So, so it was a squat, so now they've made it. No, there is only one now, uh, maybe two, but the, it was only squats, the, the grot. Uh, no, uh, you can go on uh, Wednesday, there is market. Uh, okay, it's really, cool. Really good. Well, thank you very much for your time. I'm actually going to walk them to Rue, Rue Med Medicine. Yeah, yeah, to have a look. I might as well, hadn't I? And that's the, where all the bars are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With all the young people. Yeah. So, to begin the night, that is a cool place. To begin the night. And the best place to end the night, I find, is in Paki, no? Because it closes last. Yeah. That's, yes, that's everything is open all the night. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Okay, well, you, as I said, you like to be asked before people film, don't you? It's a really important and a re respectful thing. Yeah, okay, and it's welcome to anyone and everyone if they're skateboarding, all ages? Yes, all ages, but not two years old because uh, we can shoot them and it's really dangerous, but yeah. all ages. Yeah, okay, well, thank you very much. Thank welcome. you for letting me speak to you guys. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Thanks. Yeah, they were really nice guys. I'm actually going to sneak through here. So, yeah, I mean, um, it's uh, interesting that he knew about the square because I'm not too much of an expert on the history of the, the place. But from what he was saying, I believe that this square here, so this red square here, this was left to the city by the person who owned it before, or the people who owned it before. I'm not too sure who they are. Um, and basically they said that it can be used for activities and for the people of Geneva to basically enjoy themselves instead of it being used for, for the buildings around. And he said before it used to be where they planted vegetables. So yeah, it's quite an interesting thing. I do find that they're very, um, very friendly, Swiss people. Um, and a lot of them speak English as well. Uh, yeah, I thought they were really nice. It's one of the, it's the second biggest skate park as well. And it's in Tony Hawk's top 10 skate parks in the world. I saw that online today. And yeah, so we're gonna have a look at the, the road he recommended for bars. And as some of you know from my other channel, I've uh, walked around Geneva a lot. They, they don't need to know that. That's our secret. And um, so, yes, I have been down here to have a few drinks, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's a nice place. I think my favorite bar is the Kraken Bar or pub. Man, look at these mountains. That's the Salev there, by the way. That's the Salev. And then here is the open square. And if you go this direction, you're at the Plan Parle tram stop. So you just cross through this path and you'll go to where we're going now. So I guess this video is kind of a, a little view of Plan Parle now. It was supposed to just be the skate park, but as they recommended that, so the guy with the hat on, he was actually from Brazil and the other guy was a local, he was Swiss. And the other two guys, they uh, were French. So Geneva's a very international city. It's one of the things that really surprised me was how international it was. And I've got another funny thing that happened here. I once dated a girl who was French and she, well, Swiss French, because she was born here in this, this building here. Uh, Anne Lucy, I wonder if she's watching. Uh, yes, yeah, so here we are, we're at Rue de Médecins. Another thing about Geneva is, is the traffic lights. There's traffic lights everywhere. And the, you know, the crossing signs take absolutely ages for the pedestrians. So we'll be stood here for ages. I mean, we could most probably go to sleep and then wake back up before we can cross. And I know some of you don't like it when I jaywalk. 
I've been told off in the comments. Oh, please like, comment, subscribe, by the way. Have you been to the Geneva Skate Park? And if so, is it one of the best in Europe? Because I'd be curious to know. So another thing down here is you can get to the Uni Mall. So you see the sign there? That's the, the main uh, university area for the students. Right, so here we are. This is most probably one of the best places to come out to start your evening. So what I'll do is, is I'll turn you around and we'll walk down together. It's not very lively at the moment, but to be honest with you, G Geneva isn't a lively place. It's, it's got some good nightlife, but it's not London or Amsterdam, Barcelona. It's, it's on a very small scale, but this is actually a really cool bar, this one. So this one would be my favorite, the, the Kraken bar. Get some nice drinks in there. Yeah, as you can see, it's more of a kind of a cafe kind of vibe. So you've got this cafe over here, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. If you head down this way, you go towards the hockey stadium and the Rolex headquarters, and that's towards um, Carouge. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was about the skate park. There will be a, an, an extended Plan Parlay video. And yes, let me know what more you'd like to see about Geneva because it's easy for me to give you the videos on Geneva. And thank you for watching.